Sporting closed out a three-match week with two draws and a loss before the regular season goes on pause to make way for the first-ever edition of Leeds Cup. In this week's First Team Report, we'll hear from manager Peter Vermees after Saturday's loss in Austin, chat with forward Steven Afrifa, who made his first MLS start in that match, and give you everything you need to know about Leagues Cup and Sporting's first opponent in the tournament, FC Cincinnati. After falling 2-1 at Q2 Stadium, manager Peter Vermees expressed his disappointment with the defensive breakdowns that contributed to drop points this past week. You know, you're concerned about something uh, after every game, after you do inventory, right? Guys maybe weren't fit enough. I'm not saying they were. I'm not saying for example, for example, maybe we didn't defend well. Maybe we weren't good at possession. Maybe we didn't create enough high quality chances. Um, I just think that that we, we've 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 given up some some goals in these last few games. That um, we were in, we were in charge of games and we shouldn't have given them up. Or we've given up easy goals, which put us in a hole. And now we're trying to climb back. Um, and 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 that's the difficulty of it. That's the hard part to accept. Vermees also spoke about the team's mindset ahead of League's Cup and the opportunity to lift a trophy. First of all, I mean, we're highly motivated in this in this League's Cup. I mean, we, we want to go and do the best that we can. We want to we try to win the thing. So um, we have to get ready for our first game uh, against Cincinnati. It's going to be important. They're, on, you know, they're uh, in good form. Uh, but I think for us, we have to work on aspects of our game. I think we have to be so much better defensively. One of the positives from that game in Austin was SKC's 2023 first round MLS Super Draft pick, Steven Afrifa, getting his first MLS start. He joined us this week after training to talk all about it. All right, Steven, so you get your first MLS start over the weekend at Austin, but a couple of days before that, take me through what it was like when you found out that you were getting that opportunity over the weekend. Obviously, match day minus one is when we find out who's playing and what we're gonna do. So just throughout the day, first started off with our team meeting and got told by our assistant coach. Uh, there's a few videos that I need to look at of just different things to look out for on the field. So obviously right there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some minutes. <laughs> um, wasn't expecting to start, but when we went out to the field, uh, they had me with the sledding group. So it was a little bit of a shock for me, but also exciting and it was just down to just trying to understand everything that they wanted me to do. So then you're in Austin, you step out onto the pitch. What's going through your mind in that moment? Obviously a lot of nerves. Um, it's a great atmosphere to be in and obviously it's an away game, but I was excited and just seeing Austin, I've been watching games from them from behind the screen for the last couple of years. So just being there was a good experience and knowing that I was gonna get my first start against them was even uh, bigger, so yeah. I know it's not the result that the team was hoping for, but what were some of your biggest takeaways uh, from that first start and in that experience? Uh, for me, obviously the first thing would be communication because I feel like there's a lot of moments where I wasn't on the same page as the rest of the guys and it's a learning moment for me. So I would say that's the biggest thing. And then also understanding that I just have to be able to make faster decisions because everything comes at you that much faster than my college, past college experience. So yeah, those two things I would say are up there. It's been a crazy last few months since you got drafted and then uh, joined the team after the conclusion of your college career. But when it comes to the transition from college to pro, what has been maybe something that you've implemented into your day to day that's that's been different that you've had to do now that you're now that you're at this at this level? For me, I would say it's stuff off the field. Um, first thing would just be how we get ready for training. Just we are very focused on our activation, just ways to get warm before we get on the field. And I feel like that's the biggest difference for me from college. And I feel like it's helped me a lot. I've I had little nagging injuries throughout college that I haven't experienced here. And we train at a much higher level. So I feel like that is something that I've changed a lot and it's helped me out. Awesome. Well, Steven, we're so happy to have you here with Sporting Kansas City. Uh, congratulations on your first start and best of luck yeah. moving forward. The first ever edition of League's Cup kicks off this weekend, and here's what you need to know about this reimagined month-long tournament that features all MLS and Liga Amekis teams. Designed like the World Cup, with group stage matches followed by knockout rounds, this competition will have teams broken up into groups of three teams in four regions, East, West, South, and Central. Each region has three to four groups, and Sporting Kansas City will compete in group three of the Central region along with Chivas Guadalajara and FC Cincinnati. The top two teams in each group will advance to the knockout rounds and teams that finish in the top three of the entire tournament 
earn themselves a spot in CONCACAF Champions League. Now, before we get into SKC's opponents, there is one key change to note. There are no ties in this competition. Similar to MLS and X Pro, if teams are tied at the end of regulation, each will receive one point and then we'll have a chance to add another point and a penalty shootout following the final whistle. Okay, now with that all out of the way, let's dig into Sporting's first match and opponent, FC Cincinnati. Sitting atop the Supporter Shield race, FC Cincinnati are the team to beat in MLS at the moment and will be a tough opponent on Sunday, regardless of the competition and especially at home where they are currently undefeated. In on goal, this could say that! Benji! 3-0! This time Acosta is the architect. He goes across and high fives Pat Noonan. He might have just sealed a piece of MLS history for FC Cincinnati. All-star captain and playmaker Luciano Acosta is the one to watch in this game. He's currently tied for second in the MLS Golden Boot Race with 12 goals, and when he's not scoring the goals, he's setting up his teammates. Six assists on the season, a team high for Cincy. And again, it comes through Lucho Acosta. What a ball from Lucho Acosta. His eighth helper of the season. Quick little two-touch inside the left, plays it with the right, and Santi Arias sets himself up perfectly. Quick little dink up and over the onrushing Joe Willis. It'll be a tough task for Sporting, but if they can keep scoring goals like they have in the last two months of regular season play and clean up some of the defensive mistakes that hurt them in the last week, then they can start off group play on a very strong note. This man, and then Polito! Polito! You can catch all of the League's Cup action right here on MLS Season Pass starting this weekend. And be sure to tune in to Sporting's first match on the road against FC Cincinnati on Sunday, July 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Central.